Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Anemia is a medical condition characterized by a decrease in the number of red blood cells or a decrease in the amount of hemoglobin in the blood. Hemoglobin is an iron containing protein present in red blood cells and it is responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to various tissues and organs throughout the body. The reduction in red blood cells or hemoglobin levels in anemia leads to a decreased capacity of the blood to carry oxygen effectively. As a result, the body's tissues and organs may not receive an adequate supply of oxygen which can lead to various symptoms and health problems. Let's discuss the signs and symptoms of anemia. The signs and symptoms of anemia can vary depending on the severity of the condition and its underlying cause. Some common signs and symptoms of anemia include fatigue and weakness. One of the most common symptoms of anemia is feeling unusually tired and weak even with minimal physical activity or exertion. Pale skin People with anemia may have paler skin than usual especially in the face and inside the lower eyelids. Shortness of breath Anemia can result in reduced oxygen carrying capacity of the blood leading to shortness of breath especially during physical activity or even at rest in severe cases. Dizziness or light headness Due to decreased oxygen supply to the brain, anemia can cause dizziness or a feeling of light headness. Headache Anemia may be associated with headaches, particularly those caused by reduced oxygen flow to the brain, cold hands and feet, poor circulation and reduced oxygen levels can lead to cold hands and feet. Heart palpitations Anemia can cause the heart to beat faster to compensate for the reduced oxygen carrying capacity of the blood leading to palpitations or an increased awareness of the heartbeat. Brittle nails Some people with anemia may experience brittle and spoon-shaped nails. Pica In some cases of iron deficiency anemia, individuals may develop unusual cravings for non-food substances like ice, clay, paper or chalk and others. Sore or smooth tongue. Anemia can cause the tongue to become sore, red and swollen. It may also lose its normal texture, becoming smooth and glossy. Reduced exercise tolerance. Individuals with anemia may find it challenging to engage in physical activities they could easily handle before. Now let's discuss to the causes of anemia. Anemia can be caused by various factors including nutritional deficiencies example iron, vitamin B12, folic acid, some chronic diseases, blood loss due to injury or menstruation, certain inherited conditions and others. Now let's discuss some common causes of anemia. The first one is nutritional deficiencies. These include iron deficiency anemia. This is the most common type of anemia and occurs when the body doesn't have enough iron to produce sufficient hemoglobin. Iron is essential for red blood cell production. The next nutritional deficiency anemia is vitamin B12 deficiency anemia. Lack of vitamin B12 often caused by dietary insufficiency or malabsorption issues can lead to a type of anemia known as pernicious anemia. Next is folic acid deficiency. Folic acid or folate is another essential vitamin required for red blood cell production. The next cause is chronic diseases. Chronic kidney disease. Kidneys products produce erythropoietin, a hormone necessary for red blood cell production. In chronic kidney disease, the production of erythropoietin may decrease, leading to anemia. 
inflammatory diseases chronic inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus erythematosus and inflammatory bowel disease can interfere with red blood cell production the third cause is blood loss acute blood loss significant trauma surgery or injury can cause sudden and substantial blood loss leading to acute blood loss anemia chronic blood loss prolonged low level bleeding often due to conditions like gastrointestinal ulcers gastritis or heavy menstrual periods in women can lead to chronic blood loss anemia the fourth cause is hemolysis hemolysis refers to the destruction of red blood cells at a faster rate than the body can produce them this can be due to inherited conditions like sickle cell anemia thalassemia or acquired conditions like autoimmune hemolytic anemia the fifth cause is bone marrow disorders certain conditions that affect the bone marrow can disrupt the production of red blood cells leading to anemia examples include aplastic anemia and myelodysplastic syndromes the next cause is infections and parasites some infections such as malaria can cause the destruction of red blood cells leading to anemia the seventh cause is genetic disorders certain genetic conditions such as sideroblastic anemia can affect the body's ability to utilize iron for red blood cell production the next cause is pregnancy pregnant women may experience mild anemia due to increased blood volume and the body's need to supply oxygen to the growing fetus the next cause is medications some medications such as certain antibiotics and chemotherapeutic drugs can suppress bone marrow function and lead to anemia it is important to remember that the treatment and management of anemia depend on identifying and addressing the underlying cause if you suspect you have anemia or experience symptoms it's essential to seek medical evaluation and diagnosis to determine the specific cause and receive appropriate treatment